So, Sarah, can you describe your book, How to Understand Israel in 60 Days or Less, a bit for those who haven't read it? Um, so, the book follows a something called a birthright trip that I took to Israel in 2007. And what birthright is, is, is a free tour for anyone who's Jewish between the ages of 18 and 27 and has never been on an organized trip to the country before. Um, and it's something that I was always hesitant, hesitant about going on because I thought this is just going to be complete propaganda. And in a way, it, it is. But um, I got the idea to go on one of these trips and to make a comic book about it. Um, and so when I actually did go on the trip, it ended up being about more personally for me than just looking at this trip as a propaganda tour and what it was going to be like. So the book kind of follows um, my own struggles as an American secular leftist Jew um, and my relationship to Israel. So there was always a plan to make a comic out of it and so always a plan to publish it as a comic and not as a documentary or short story? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a comic. I only started doing comics about six months before I went on the trip and the way I started doing comics, which is something that a lot of starting out cartoonists do, I think, is you do a comic every day about something that happened in your life, kind of like what James Kachalka does. Um, and so I had been doing that for three or four months, and I started getting bored of making comics about my daily life in New York, so I thought, okay, I need to go on a, something, a trip or something bigger and make a comic about that, and so that's where I came. In How to Understand Israel in 60 Days or Less, you write and you draw. Which part do you like more? Drawing or writing? Oh, I don't know. Um, I like both. Writing is definitely more difficult, um, and drawing is more fun. And I definitely like painting the best, uh, because just applying color. Once you have all the writing in place and you have all the drawings in place, just being able to work with the paint, and I did this all in watercolors, is just, that's the most enjoyable part. And you can put on podcasts and just kind of like let your mind go. A painting is a good clue because you also offered on your Twitter account to paint superheroes for <laughs> your fans if they want to meet you and get one. So would you like to do some superhero comics someday or not? Oh, no, I think that... I, just doing these little paintings is kind of the limit for me because I actually don't know a lot about superhero comics. Um, I grew up reading Mad Magazine and Calvin and Hobbes and I didn't really read a lot of that stuff so for me doing these superhero commissions is a way to discover the characters um, and to have fun with them but I think that you know, making a story like that is kind of out of my yep. wheelhouse. So could you ever imagine doing more mainstream comics, like writing for a big publisher, and doesn't have to be super or drawing for one? Would that be something you would be interested in? No, I think I'm very squarely <laughs> in the indie world. Okay. Um, and, you know, from this book have been moving more into comics journalism, mm -hmm. so I'm not really interested in fiction. Okay, that's interesting. So after... Um, this book and you're publishing it and you're promoting it now. Uh, what's the next big pro project you have? Is there some kind of you know big dream project you always want to do and maybe now be able to? Uh, well, there's a lot of dream projects, but right now I'm working on a comic that's kind of a meta journalism project. I was really interested in journalism itself and how it works. Mm -hmm. So I have some friends who are journalists, and I went with them on a reporting trip to northern Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. Um, and the book that I'm working on now is about them and about how they work and about um, how they kind of create these relationships to their subjects, um, which in this case is mostly Iraqi refugees who are living in Syria. So that's what I'm working on now along with other short comics journalism projects. Um, but after that's done, I have a whole list of other things I want to make stories about. Okay, thank you so much and yeah. good luck with the project and your book. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs>